Thus begins my playthrough of The Witcher 2. The scene is very similar to the starting scene in, in uh, the first one. It is the starting scene from the first one, bro. to granddad <laughs> looky there he's awake you daft don't go in there shut it he's in chains can't do a thing am I right master Geralt don't piss him off bro roll again why the dice didn't roll Calling me a cheat. Take it back. Look, he's awake again. Monster slayer, my ass. A regular horson. I heard witches all start out as roadside orphans taken in by mages. Mages who experiment on them. <laughs> Folks say they plough witches come the equinox. That's how they get those spooky eyes. Enough! Take him down and put him in the interrogation. Hey, I know this guy. I thought you died. I'm not so easy to kill. This is the guy from uh, the third game. We're friends in that game. Why does he mean such a dick now? I don't believe we've been introduced. Vernon Roach. Vernon Roach. That's right. Walk around behind me if you want to shake. How foolish of me. Vess! No hurt. I'm Jacqueline. Something to drink. We can't sit here cotton mouthed. You will tell me everything you remember. The entire assault. And all that happened in the solar. And if I refuse? I shall have to beat you. I've commanded the special forces for a while. Got good at beating others. You're a witcher. You'd endure much. You better believe it. Worst case scenario? You'll suffer through it, go back to your cell, and tomorrow, they'll publicly gut you, skin you, and hang you. Just like that? For nothing? No. For Temeria. Downright praiseworthy. Where should I start? It was a long day. I wish to hear the important bits. Just so we're clear on this, I was not eager to go into battle. But Foltest is not someone you refuse. Uh oh, is there going to be some boobies? Huh. I ain't trying to get banned. Which up? I hate Triss. I'm a Yen man. I don't hate Triss, but Yen's way better. Stupid war. Could have been such a beautiful morning. A war can never be stupid when waged by your king. She looks a lot more like Triss in this game, though. The first game, she looked nothing like. A wise war is a contradiction, Triss. 
Then maybe you know just how I should advise our lustful monarch. Stop falling in love, sire no further bastards, and don't wage stupid wars. Genius. You know these bastards could vie for the throne in the future? Then we'd have an even more senseless conflict. Which doesn't change the fact that... I know. Altest and the other northern monarchs are neither the smartest nor the most refined. But they're kings, one of whom we serve. And I'll see Foltest is summoned, protect him if need be. But once the castle falls, we leave. Did you dream of the wild hunt again? Mm -hmm. I get the feeling that dream's important. Running frantically through the forest. The wild hunt. They're the last things I remember. I wake up and try to relive the dream and the memory, hoping I'll find some guidance, some clue to grab onto, something that'll help me recover my memory. Dreams can be very powerful. Some people claim they can even shape reality. People claim a lot of things. The problem is, it's often nonsense. We'll know in time. I'm sure of it. All right. Time to look to the lustful king and his stupid war. I'll join you later. What is that? Trebuchets. your old mates. We're the Crinfrid Reavers. I lost my memory. As did Bohold. After the hunt for the Golden Dragon, he took a spill and hit his head on a rock. He can still be a beast in battle, but besides that, he don't do much save eating shit. Rarely even lusts after women. I doubt that's amnesia. I'm Kenneth, and this one here they call Desperate, and this is new boy. He's um, apprenticing with his life. I haven't had much luck with the monsters of late, so we enlisted. Now New Boy's gotten itself into this wager situation. Would you help us for old time's sake? I mean, we all got a little riled. But those are bygones, as I see it. We'd have set you free. The sorcerers, too. Boholt was just fooling about the uh, raping and all. What rape? A trap, Desperate. The Witcher don't remember. Waste of words to remind him. We're old mates, that's that. So you'd have raped this old mate? Just the sorceress. You were there to kill the dragon. The sorceress too. The peasants wanted at it, everyone did. But there was only one prize. And we argued, there was some commotion, a regular rumble in fact. We tied you up like hogs, meaning you and the sorceress, and went after the beast. The dragon thrashed us so hard, we spent the next half year licking our wounds. You freed yourselves of your bonds. Who was the sorceress? Raven Edge, she was. Remember her name, Desperate? Uh, Yennefer! Some such. Yennefer! So, Willing to help some old friends with you. What kind of trouble are you in now? It's a matter of life, death, and quite a bit of coin in front of that. New boy bet a night that he'll survive the assault in his shirt and knickers alone. We drunk a bit by then, I admit, but a wager's a wager. Our honor's at stake. A soldier's honor versus a knight's. I think I get it. The very core of the matter, Witcher. We're slated to go in the first wave. So the going's liable to be hard. New boy's brave, but he can't survive by courage alone. In any case, we've come into this bauble that's supposed to protect him, magically like. You mind casting an expert's glance at it, seeing as sorcery and such is not strange to you. Let me see this bauble. Your wolf medallion, I saw it shake. It reacts to magic. So it's true, what the priest said. Hear that, new boy? You'll be safe. We'll fleece that night, we will. Where did you get this talisman? We came by it, let's say. We were on patrol, see, and ran into a couple of novice priestesses praying at this shrine. They were nice, smiling and all. 
We don't want to detect them two on patrol. <laughs> but shut it! Boat had one of his rare moments of clairvoyance when rummaging in the shrine found the amulet. Who knows what goes on in that head of his? But every now and then he wakes up as good old Boholt. Aye, he still cuts him down with a single wallet. In any case, we took the amulet and went off to find the rest of the patrol. The wonders we saw. Let me turn the music down. Birds ran into some squirrels, vicious ones. Any really good dialogue? Flying everywhere. But we came through untouched. Barely three of the others still standing when a dragon swooped down. The elves fell to their knees. We all legged it. The amulet's magic for certain. Though it failed to protect the shrine from your patrolling. Aye, true. Well, now we don't know what to think. There's clearly magic in the trinket, but I doubt it'll deflect swords or arrows. Shit, I knew it. I told you so, you idiot. Screw honor. Don your metal, new boy. You'll go into battle, confessional and all. So be it. Who I'd like to have fleeced the noble. That shame. If it goes along. Too true. Overwhelming force. That's what. They're getting what they deserve. What say you to that, Blankies? Long live the king! king. Close order! You seek the king. He waits near the machine. No reason to go in. No mercy. Go see Cortez, Geralt. The fury will be forgiven. To battle! A beautiful day for battle. Fear not, Excellency. We're out of range of their arbalists. I am no warrior, sir. I must admit, I prefer to joust verbally or with a pen. The emissary of peace that I am. Boring Saturday. Hogwash! You're the emissary. Finally! Traitors of the realm boil tar on the walls while you dally with the royal advisor. How may I assist you, sire? We mount an assault today, and you'll be at my side. Follow me, gentlemen. Let's not keep the traitors waiting. Sire, you said we were out of range. That was a ballista, Excellency. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. A deadly and very costly weapon. An experienced crew can cock and release two bolts each minute. Yet it has one flaw. Your Grace, please take cover. The recoil of the arms is so strong upon firing that the weapon shifts. It simply cannot hit the same spot twice. I had no idea your grace was a learned military engineer. I'm not. I gave the Baroness those ballistae two years ago for her birthday. Sire. What say you, Excellency, of men who live in spite of such wounds? And what say you, your grace, of soldiers who inflict them? Those who did this live no more. Master Geralt, I wish to converse with you once the storm of battle has subsided. Forgive me, Excellency. As soon as possible. Might I know why? Too often they take me for someone I'm not. What do they call you, soldier? Wait. You served with me at Brenner and during our foray into the Pontar Valley. Norman Sadel. Still an arbalist? Yes, sir. Fight has not been kind to me. Ha! <laughs> Norman Sador, for your years of faithful service to the Crown, I appoint you Decurion of the Arbalists. Onwards, gentlemen. No reason to dawdle. Forgive my candor, Your Majesty, but uh, I must ask, what fate awaits the royal bastards when they're my children? If I hear bastard one more time, someone will die. Painfully. Your Grace. But the laws of succession are irrefutably clear. Piss on the laws. I'll change them if need be. Above all, I'll not allow a band of treacherous barons to use my children as their banner. Your Majesty is entirely within his rights. Adder is dead. And I have no other children. I see. This conversation is over, Excellency. Please retire to your tent.
black ones in my camp before a battle. What has the world come to? Nothing would make me happier than returning his shriveled head to Emir in a sack. But Triss Merigold insisted I be patient and courteous. Was I? I couldn't have handled it better myself. Ha! I always knew you were one of us. And bugger what folks say. They talked about Adder no end. Have you learned anything about the assassin? Nothing new, sire. A month's passed and we don't know any more than we want to do. This investigation is My agents have learned little also. But we'll find the culprits. It's just a question of time. I like that now, I'm going to be participating battle, in a battle. I want you at my side today. Then you may go where you please. Thank you, sire. Where are you aiming, imbeciles? Soldier! Spyglass! What is going on up there? The gods! Count at you, very! Cat, Witcher. Aim for the rogue with the red plume. Not six months ago, he swore eternal friendship to me. Quickly! How much higher? Three degrees. Did we hit the bastard? He ducked. Damn it. We'll get him on the walls. Follow me, Witcher. I think it'd be pretty easy to duck a ball that's coming in like that. I don't know. If you can see it from a mile away. I guess it's coming in pretty fast. You know, Witcher, I'm prepared to forgive Louisa. All she need do is to kneel before her king. Very noble of you. Are you mocking me? Never mind. I'm certain Louisa will realize her mistakes. Besides, children should have a mother. I'm lost. It's quite simple. Louisa and I had a bit of a tiff. She made demands I could not fulfill. Understand? I think so. Count Echeverry and others immediately intervened, all noble, all sympathetic. They claimed the evil king would take her children. But they would protect them, even place them on the throne. And the Baroness was duped. A motherly love used. In truth, they desire privileges that would weaken the throne. That's a swiving soldier's life. Taking orders, smash your bow. Coin and country, there you wait. And a long road at your toe. How's it going, Anthony? I just started Witcher 2, so you're not really missing anything. You haven't missed anything.